All right, I'm going to go ahead and have it go live. Ready? Yeah, I'm completely ready. All right, just making sure it goes up. Yeah, we already have somebody in chat, it would appear. All right, going to throw up that hot gameplay. Going to send out the links. And then we'll get into it. Awesome. Can't wait. If everybody can, in chat could just let me know how the audio is, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, testing, testing. <laughs> is like everything balanced, not too loud or soft. Gotta make sure they can't hear the gameplay. That fucking happened one time I was streaming. Oh, yeah. What what game is it? It's not too distracting, right? No, it's it's GTA. It's just random. Random oh, shit. Cool. Alright. Got it linked. Alright, so before we get into the main topic that I want to talk to you about, which is your opinions on the map stuff and the pedophilia. Uh, oh. There's there's a well accepted theory that you might be trolling. Well, oh, we're already live. Like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're we're beginning. Oh, okay. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Um, trolling? Nah. I think it's pretty clear. I think the misunderstanding comes because I like to make jokes, and I'm not exactly a completely serious activist. I like to like put in a bit of humor in my work, but it's pretty clear that. Despite the like fun-loving presentation, um, my views are extremely genuine. Like most of the pedophile community knows that I'm genuine. Many people have been swayed into believing my opinion. And NAMBLA, historically the most prominent pro-pedophile organization, right now they've lost a bit of steam, but they featured me on their site. So it's pretty clear that um, hmm. I'm not a troll. So, well, there's a couple of things that point to you actually being a troll, and one of those would be. You had an interview with uh, Medicare, I believe, where it was more of a debate, and he got you to kind of slip up and say that you were you were just glad you got to talk to him, and it made him think that you were doing it for attention. Also, uh, I looked into you a little bit, and you got in trouble in Singapore for offensive comments about a dead politician and for mocking the Bible. So, so it just seems so, to me like you're a bit of an right. edgelord. <laughs> in terms of having aspects of an edgelord that is true in terms of wanting attention of course who doesn't want attention i'm sure you would want it too it's just i'm much more honest about admitting it and in terms of um making causing an uproar in singapore because of a dead politician that's i mean there's, a, not a, troll because, there's a whole wikipedia yeah, page about I, that and i i recommend people um look at it like uh, google amos e that was formerly in my name now i'm kino a defender of pedophiles. I changed my name to Kino, so um, I think that case in Singapore pretty much proves definitively that I'm not a troll because essentially I was so confident about expressing those opinions that I was I was sent to jail from it. Yeah. Which is why, like, yeah, which is why for criticizing the government and religion, which is why it, I moved here to America to escape from that. So it just seems to me like you take these extreme stances on things like. Obviously, a lot of what you say is extreme, right? And it just yes. seems like it would be for attention to most people. There is. I have to admit that I do love a bit of that, the attention aspect. But I think that what motivates me to continue, because people will not say these things purely for attention, at least for as long as I have, because there's obviously huge social ramifications. You basically me i like can't go to college or apply for like mainstream work anymore and obviously like negative um my reputation is like sour amongst don't you think people. there's a reason for that yeah because you disagree with my opinions of course but um oh it's more yeah. than that it's it's not like you you like a, a fucking sports team i don't like it's it's a little bit more complicated than that of course you think that my opinions are extremely disagreeable which we'll get into because yes, i think that if, I think that if like most people look at my work and my videos, um, not misrepresented, they'd be convinced. And you, you're yeah. gonna link all my, you're gonna link my channel um, description the, uh, so that people can see it. Right. Awesome. I do have yeah. the uh, the free speech thing linked. I do have that. Awesome. But Thanks, uh, before dude. we get into the actual main stuff, just one more thing about the whole attention <laughs> thing. To me, it seemed a little bit odd. I have a picture here of a screenshot. Um, I put out a tweet where I was saying that I would enjoy having somebody who, because I made the video on you and I, I had been on the topic, that I would love to debate somebody who was pro-MAP or uh, was a MAP supporter. Mm. And then I got an, a tweet from somebody, uh, an account named Amos Ye Archive, 
pretty quick and it said you can email and then it gave me your email and then after yeah, that, i emailed that's you essentially my, there's the that's essentially my friend who runs the ames e archive channel oh, okay it seemed to me like yeah, you responded that, to my email my yeah you responded to well, my email really email. fast i responded really to the email but like the dude who sent you the tweet was the guy who runs another channel because okay. there's there's me and then there's the guy who runs the amos e archive so i don't run the amos e archive so. okay because it yeah. just seemed to I, me there's, that yeah, there's just some hmm? it seemed to me that you were like i'll just tell him to email me but i'll say it's an archive account <laughs> oh no no yeah there's this rumor going around that i have like sock accounts on twitter it's been perpetuated by this dude called um irate alex absolute lie absolutely no evidence at all for that and it's just it's horrible it's just a complete lie i haven't made any twitter accounts so, so you the have quite a few support? you are i think most likely just fans or um friends of mine so okay i see let's get right. to the yeah let's get into the main attraction shall we let's get into um, the main attraction why don't we so you said that you were arrested twice was that because of your views and opinions on the map stuff or was that something else no it was for oh wait we're still in my first though okay we're, that was for criticizing the Singapore government okay. because being rude to religion in Singapore is that you don't just get a potentially a strike on your channel. You get arrested for like months in jail, um, yeah. criticizing religion and criticizing uh, pretty much an authoritarian uh, politician who's been like being a dictator to the country for about 50 years. So those are valid reasons that I think you and most of your audience would agree uh, should not send me to prison for. The pedophilia stuff... Uh, you know, I haven't been sent to prison yet. But yeah, essentially, yeah. I was sent to prison for things outside of pedophilia. So somebody um, on Twitter, sent, enough, no. yeah, somebody on Twitter sent me a a screenshot of you talking to somebody who was allegedly fourteen. Is that like, are you talking to a fourteen year old girl? Is that something they're just making up? I'm not sure about that. There's many like weird rumors and allegations. I believe that one time somebody made a rumor that like um. Uh, like like what i'm being funded by a pedophile and living in his basement and that got picked up by like a news source it's just yeah man like yeah. make sure to get evidence before um sharing false allegations on me so all right so to actually get into it so yeah, you're let's get into it. you're rather infamous for your opinions on all of this and the main thing that i take yeah. issue with is your opinions on consent and what age groups can consent and that we should lower the age of consent. Why, uh, like, I think at one point think you said... Completely. Completely? So you don't think there should be any cutoff for the age of let's, consent? Yeah, let's really... I think that in terms of the legal aspect, it should be abolished completely. But let's make it really clear. That doesn't mean that I think all ages... I think that 0 to 3, they definitely aren't able to. But from four to seven, I think that there's a possibility that they're able to. Although from four to seven, it's a really small minority. Um, okay, well, how do you that decide that? Are, I think are. How do you just go, oh, yeah, four-year-olds, it's fine, but only some of them. Like, that sounds yeah, a little bit batshit. From, from evidence of the cognitive development of a child, which I linked in the description of my videos. But, yeah, anyone can just check it out um, if you showed my channel links. It, essentially, um... Underneath the description of all my videos, there's plenty of citations which indicates the cognitive development of a child. It shows that generally at around eight, they'd be cognitively able to consent to sex, in my opinion. Because by that point, they'd be able to understand consequences, be able to verbally communicate with an adult, be able to think in another person's, think, um, in another person's perspective. Yeah. And I think those are perfectly like reasonable criteria to determine um, a child's cognitive development. Um, being sufficient enough to consent to sex and from four to seven it's a uh, they aren't able to but there's a really small minority of people gifted children who are able to and what i mean by that is that they are more cognitively developed um than a typical four to seven they're really not which is why they're able to like you I, I know like you made the statement before that um most four to seven year olds they're just like sucking on their mucus and um watching rugrats and i agree they but are. some of them but some of them aren't and the fact well, that just because stories, stories of those exist goes to show that there are some people that are the exceptions though i mean shoe on head made a great point against you that just because a kid can consent and can say they consent that does not make it right because they have no idea what they're agreeing to and also they are not sexually mature you hit puberty around the ages of for girls it's about 10 to 14 and boys it's about 12 to 16. 
You are not uh, sexually said, mature at that age at all. You essentially said, you essentially just admitted that those children can consent. They can't. Puberty does not equal that, that yeah. they can consent and actually have sexual relations with an adult. I think that you shouldn't look at puberty. You should look at their, whether or not their cognitive development is sufficient enough for consent. And the fact is that there are cases of like five to eight year olds where they essentially engage in a sexual act and it turned out to be completely fine. And these are not just like some sick pedophile, like pressuring the child into saying that, oh, this sexual act is fine, even though it isn't. It's essentially adults who reflected on them as a five to eight year old having that sexual act and saying that it was consensual and fine. So. All right. So like this. No, yeah. So. The thing is, is that you say that four-year-olds can consent, which is the the biggest, it blows my mind. Like, oh, you no, do I'm realize saying that, that a really, okay, the youngest anecdote I've seen is a five-year-old. I'm just saying that from four to seven-year-old, I think generally only at around eight can you consent, but from four to seven-year-old, there's still a small minority of cases that are able to consent, and they're most likely gifted. Okay, let's get into that consent thing. So there was a part in uh, your second, ep like, part where you were responding to shoe on head that you kind of skipped over because she went over the fact that you said at one point you had mentioned that if a, a child crawls towards your manhood that counts as them consenting is that something you actually oh, I think did not. that was that was a horrible statement that i made before and i completely apologize for it and retracted it let's make it very clear from ages zero to three i do not think that they are able to consent but when only, they hit four or five, they're just suddenly only, able to consent. That doesn't make any sense. They're not, they're not any more intelligent or mature to do that. And there's a reason that the, there's a reason yeah. that the, the legal age is 16 in some states and 18 in every other state. The only reason it's 16 in some states is because that's around the age that sexual maturity gets up there. Before that, in terms hell no. Of, yeah, okay, sorry. In terms of legality, it, that's... That's basically just the elementary logical fallacy because just because something is illegal doesn't mean that it's immoral. Otherwise, you know, beheading in Saudi Saudi Arabia would be justified. The fact of the matter. Now, let me make it really clear. Generally, I think that only are children able to consent to sex, and there's plenty of evidence of the cognitive development of a child which indicates that. I'm just saying that at four to seven, if those exist. And they're most likely gifted, as in those four to seven year olds have a higher cognitive development than a typical four to seven year old that matches perhaps an eight to 10 year old, which is why they're able to consent to sex. And in terms of like children that are 12 and above, definitive evidence that they are able to consent to sex. By that point, they have gained a level of abstract thinking. So, yeah, I think it's definitive um, enough evidence to show that. And, and essentially, like, people who don't want to admit that these cases happen of are just denying the facts. So. so you're saying that a law is an elementary logical fallacy, right? I mean, the implication, I don't know if you meant it, but the implication you're trying to make is that because something is illegal, that means it's wrong. That doesn't. <laughs> that doesn't make the it right at all. The reason it's but... illegal and the reason it's wrong is because children cannot have sexual re relations with an adult because, I mean, first of all, this should be obvious and it's disgusting for me to even have to say it, it would be extremely yeah, painful. Not... Like, you, they are not your developed position, for that. Yeah. And it's just essentially from your own personal opinion. And who would you rather trust? Um, your Family members that have opinion? gone through it? Like, who do you rather trust, your personal opinion or, like, researchers who've studied children extensively for decades? A couple think, of biased yeah. weirdos? So who do you react? I mean, I trust family members who and friends who have gone through shit like that in their childhood. And this, oh, is, look, this is from people yeah, that t they manipulate. Misrepresenting the position of the pedophiles. There's a complete difference between sexual abuse, which is what you're trying to say. And, yeah, I completely condemn sexual abuse. There's a difference between sexual abuse and consensual sexual acts so, between a child and an adult. And the fact is that, yeah. Would you agree that grooming and manipulating a child of any age into sending nudes or doing any of the other disgusting shit that people do, that's not abuse at all? That is completely abuse, and I completely condemn it, and most of the pedophile community completely condemn it. Let's make well, it very you, clear. No, yeah. let's make it, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Really clear. 
if any sexual act between a child and an adult involves grooming or manipulation or unjust coercion, then obviously we would condemn it and it would be already penalized. Let's make it very clear. If we abolish age of consent laws, any sexual act that is harmful will still be penalized because if you notice, there are still molest and rape laws. Any, every kind of sexual abuse that you mentioned about whatever family members you have, they will still be penalized and the pedophile community will condemn it. What we won't penalize is consensual sexual acts that does not harm either of those parties. Well, it's not just rape or molestation. It's not just physical abuse. It's also, you realize that Shu on Head said that you should block anybody with map in the name, uh, AOA, any of that clown emoji stuff, because I think she, mm. they are very manipulative. Maps are very manipulative. Pedophiles can be that's very just manipulative. Completely, that's just completely untrue, and I urge you to speak with some of the map community on Twitter, and you realize that most of them do are not creepers that want to harm children. Maybe some, I mean, a small minority might be. There are some that are non-offending and that they realize that they are sick and they try to get therapy. That, those that's an entirely... Yeah, that's entirely different. What a lot no, of maps are doing is they're advocating the normalcy of being attracted to children, and that should not be normal. That should not be something we encourage by, for example, letting them into the LGBT. No. No, yeah, there's a difference between the anti-contact and the pro-contacts. The anti-contacts are unprecedentedly cringe, and I completely disagree with them. Um, yeah, so... How are they cringe? They're anti-contact. They they're, they're essentially pedophiles who... Firstly, I think exploring your sexuality as a, as a pedophile is completely fine. And these people... It's these, absolutely not fine, yeah, my guy. I think it's fine. And there's definitive evidence by researchers which you shows know, that it is fine, so... I have definitive yeah. evidence of how grooming can fuck somebody's life up. So you know the YouTuber Lion Maker? I'm not talking about F grooming. I'm talking about consensual I sexual am. acts. So you're I'm completely about, misrepresenting my point, so... I'm talking about when a pedophile gets into somebody's DMs, gets into contact with a child, and basically manipulates them. Lion Maker is a very famous and infamous, I mean, case of this. He is a yeah. Minecraft YouTuber, disgusting piece of shit. He was in a 14-year-old girl's uh, DMs for years, got nudes from her. Her parents found out, made her stop talking to him, and then out of anger, he, lo he leaked her DMs out onto the internet. Her, I not completely her DMs, condemn her that, but as I said, that is a case of unjust manipulation and coercion. That's a completely different from a consensual sexual act. Because there are many other cases, like for example, um, a seven-year-old who engaged in a sexual act with a janitor, or like a 14-year-old who engaged with, in a sexual act with a 20-year-old, then she grows up to be an 18-year-old, and they get married, and everything is happy. Most of the cases are consensual. The cases that you're mentioning of like, um, you know, leaking DMs or having some sort of uh, manipulation, those are a complete minority, and that doesn't represent the pedophile community. So, I, I hate to be a dick here, but children are very ignorant, and they're just not... They do not know how the world works. So, it is very easy for somebody, a pedophile, a map, to manipulate them. Just to, to talk to them and act nice, and then ask for nudes. It happens all the time. All the as, time. I, as I said, yeah, as I said, that there's definitive enough evidence which shows that I don't think children are as, like low low intelligence as you make them out to be there's definitive enough evidence which shows that they're capable of consenting to sex and knows the consequences of the action and also the fact that i think what you're trying to imply is that there's a power dynamic involved with an adult and child and makes children um you know more easily manipulable it's not even the, an act of intelligence person. it's yeah, the fact um, that they don't know any better they don't know like a lot of the kids in the age, age ranges that you're talking about they don't know what sex is. They really don't. They've heard about it. They don't know what it- I didn't know what it was until I was like 13, 14. But there's enough evidence which shows that, cognitively, they would be able to understand what a sexual act is and what the consequences of it cognitively? are at around 8 years old. And yeah, you mentioned before what you, you understood what sex is at like 12 to 13, so what, could we compromise and perhaps reduce the age of consent to 12 or...? No, because having sexual relations with a 12 year old is fucked up. And it would I, not only injure but, but them... You just, but you just admitted that you understood what sex was at 13. That doesn't mean that I was able to have sex and not have it be A, illegal, B, painful, and C, not know anything about it. Just about, because I know what it is. Sure, but as I said, you keep on mentioning cases of manipulation, but as evidence shows, 
most pedophiles do not want to harm a child, and most sexual relationships between a child and an adult is By design, harmless, so. the manipulation yeah. is abusing the child. Essentially, you're making up all these factors, saying that by necessity, age will indicate that it is a harmful act, but evidence completely contradicts your opinion. So, And once again, I, I, I like to ask... Very biased the information. Audience, yeah. Very biased research that you Unbiased at all, so... It it's is not biased. biased. And look, I, I showed you my citations. They are completely I guarantee you I could go and, and look for a citation that proves everything wrong from a different child psychologist. We'll do it. We can plan another discussion in the future. But I, I challenge you to find something that is not completely misrepresenting the pedophile community. I urge you to find one. A lot of the people I, that I, are in I this, in this chat are making a good stuff. point. A lot of people in chat are making a good point. Just mental development does not include physical de development. Like I said, ages 10 to 14 okay, for yeah, girls, let's, let's talk about that. puberty, right? Before they hit puberty, they okay. they don't even have the sexual organs are not completely developed. But you're advocating about, yeah. for four-year-olds to be able to have sex. I don't... That's fucking no, no, mental. No. Let's make that very clear. I do not want penetration until perhaps the age of 13 then and above. What the fuck do you want? No, I'm, I'm talking about sexual acts, as in, and sexual acts includes non-penetrative acts, such as like mutual oh, masturbation, Christ. making out. Obviously, those exist. And if, yeah. You're saying you'd make out with a four-year-old? Would I make out? I'm not, I'm not an actual pedophile, so. You're not. Let me, let me finish. Okay. I'm not, I'm not. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that soon, but let's make it very clear. Pedophiles have the common sense that, duh, from 4 to 12 years old, probably physically unable to deal with an adult's cock. So, oh, obviously, they would not penetrate the child. They would just... Oh, you like, know, it's, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, you don't, they, it's not penetration, let's make it very clear. So it's fine. Pedophiles don't want to harm children. Right. So. I don't get that one, sir. Wrong with, like, mutual masturbation and making out. The fact that it's a there's child. Nothing penetration, there's no penetration at all. It will not cause any physical harm to the child at all. So. The fact that it's a child that's being manipulated is the problem. Uh, yeah, but there's no manipulation for most cases. So. Look, you keep on reiterating, re reiterating that point, but you have absolutely no evidence to back your claims up. So, And I, I urge you, like, like, once you find the evidence... I reiterate it because it's common sense. And sense is completely wrong so that's the thing you that ah, that's another elementary logical fallacy appeal to popularity just because most people think that something is correct doesn't mean that it is correct and in this case it's a very 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 plain example so. you're appealing to like five or six very biased researches that somehow oh, it's peer reviewed across like decades it's not just five to six it's like like multiple like hundreds of studies across spans of span of decades that is a completely unbiased methodology, as opposed to biased methodologies that are propped up by people who say that um, there's child sexual abuse just because it's a sexual act between an adult and a child. So, You keep saying that I keep making the same point about manipulation. You keep making the same point of, oh. well, it doesn't have to be illegal. Oh, listen it's to me illegal for clear. a reason. Let, let's make it very, very clear. If the sexual act involves manipulation, I condemn it. Most of the pedophile community condemns it. You're immediately making the huge assumption that just because an adult engages in a sexual act with a child, it involves manipulation, but that's just completely not the case. That okay. just does not happen for most cases. It's you literally keep on saying that there's manipulation. Yeah, it's preying just, on somebody who's not mature enough to understand what sex is. It's not. Look, as I said before, we're going in circles many times. We absolutely most are. of the cases do not involve manipulation or praying or any co unjust coercion. You just keep on repeating the points of no evidence and yeah, that's just... You want to provide evidence, evidence for how there's no manipulation when you're taking a child who does not know anything about the world, they don't know what sex is, you're taking like a seven-year-old. You're telling me there's no manipulation in play when you literally tell them, you're like, you're, you're grooming them. It is exactly what you're doing. It is all grooming. No matter how you do it. If the child is cognitively developed enough to understand what the sexual act is, then they it's aren't. not grooming. In fact, many, in fact, many, you can find stories of many children at young ages, like I think the youngest I've seen is 10 years old, where it's not the adult who initiates the sexual contact, it's actually the child. The child like goes up into the adult's house and initiates the, uh, in, initiates the sexual contact. Because they don't know any better.
in fact, like the adult pedophile is kind of like, hey, hey, like, like, you know, I, I might, you know, I, this might be inappropriate. One of us might get into trouble, but the child is like, hey, I want to have sex. So that, that's just that cases of those exist. So Again, that's playing off facts, the child's though. ignorance and the fact that they don't know any better. Child it's an adult himself. taking advantage of a child's ignorance. That is all. No, no, no. The, the, no, again, the child, the 10 year old child goes into, sneaks into the pedophile's house. With the pedophile's permission yeah. and him leaving the, un the no. door unlocked, yeah. And the child initiates the sexual contact, so. And not only that, the adult Are we really setting like, up an imaginary scenario here? It's still illegal and it's still fun. I, I, as I said, go to the description of my videos. I, there are plenty of anecdotes of such cases of children engaging in consensual acts without any manipulation at all. And some of them even initiating it. These scenarios, these are just facts. And you're just completely denying the facts. And I understand why you would, because it's just such an extreme opinion that you've never heard of before. But these are just facts, so. Well, you're and kind of a hypocrite there. You're saying that I'm taking specific scenarios by giving you exact examples of people being, you know, manipulated and groomed. And then you <sighs> yeah, go and you're take... mentioning the manipulation again. And then you yeah, take look. exact... You, you make up a scenario of a, a child having consensual sex with an adult. I'm making up. It's As if that's always what happens. And even if it does happen, it's illegal for a reason. And yeah, we are talking in circles. This is going nowhere because your opinions are not defendable. Yeah, the thing is that most sexual acts are consensual. And the thing is that you're harming the adult because you're, he's completely innocent. You're putting him into 15 oh, yeah, years of that's prison. A good one, but also the child. Let, let's make it very clear. There are cases of children. Unless you take away the adult lover, he feels guilt that that the, com the relationship is completely harmless, but you're putting him into years of prison. Shame and pressure from parents and the police and counselors to make him, to pressure him into saying that he was victimized, he felt harmed. So you think that, coerced, you, you think said. the children that and have the been victims of this? You think that they're facts. manipulated? And it's not a fact. You're they're saying not they're, manipulated. They're you, being pressured by you're saying that they're being to make it seem, look, pressure you place on a child when you take away the child's adult lover. <laughs> That's very traumatic. Decades of psychological pain. So you're saying you that every child innocent. that has not every child. Well, you're saying Both that cases. I'm not saying that. What do you? I would appreciate it if you let me finish. Yeah, you're yeah, basically you saying that. that these kids are pressured into saying that they were abused. That sounds like just making shit up again. Ah, uh, they were oh, pressured into no. it. That's why I told you to read the citations that I cited. There is. Pressure from police, counselors, parents, abuse at all sexually. There's pressure from them to say you're ab you got abused, you were victimized, so that there is more evidence in court to imprison. Guarantee the that the children innocent. willingly come out and say Back that it any was of this up, right? Yeah, that's the thing. It's all just your limited personal opinion. All the things you're saying about children and adults and their sexual acts is just your limited personal. Okay, and your you limited bias that, so. is coming out, and you're saying, oh, they were pressured into... There's no limited into... bias. My... Then how do you know that our they were pressured into saying so. that it was abuse? How do you know they're not genuinely saying it's abuse? But I know they were pressured. Cause... You don't know that. Because that sounds like some bullshit. Happening. So you're going to tell me that I'm making shit happening. up. You're going to tell me I'm making shit up when you make shit up. You are the one that's making shit up. Okay, then provide proof that they Stories. were pressured. I, sh I told you, look. Give me your showed, citations or so. The... the, the uh, audience can go if you look at my the video of my channel my most recent video shoe on head is too root to pedophiles you just go down to the description you'll find a citation of um children being pressured by police and um parents so and yeah you can take a look and uh you can take a look at the studies that i cited um and once you do uh we can arrange another talk and um hopefully change your mind so so that, because yeah. certain oh, I, I cases that, like, you know you do you do a you, you have certain cases of them being pressured, so that means that's just how it happens 90% of the time? 90... I, I imagine that majority of of children, if they have their adult instant lover taken away from them... And I imagine that they oh, actually God. were abused, and they actually say they were abused because they were abused. Find some evidence, dude. The oh. evidence is that it happens all the time. You, you're only you're counter talking, to you're it. Talking about, you're talking about cases of manipulation. I'm talking about consensual sexual acts. So, man, 
Look, 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 look at, look at, I urge you to look at the studies, all right? I know, like, you're, you know, comedy gamer, and, like, it's, like, really boring to see academic st studies. Like, I, I, I had that problem, too. But, um, eventually, you know, look at it. At least, at least scan through it. And it's got see nothing that, to do um, with yeah. me not wanting to just, read. Believe me. If you can read, and, yeah, just, just take a look, and, um, yeah, I hopefully, uh, if, if you don't change your mind, hopefully somebody in your audience does, so. Yeah, I think, um, I, I don't think you're changing anybody's mind by just being... Just saying, oh yeah, if some some of this, you're just giving your own personal biased opinion on it that's warped by the fact that you're in children. It's backed up by actual evidence, though. Like, look, I I, I I encourage like much of the um your audience, not misrepresented or in the context of a video response that is actually biased. The video that I made is inherently convincing, so take a look at that video and hopefully uh gain something from it. Because I think that if you look at my video alone, more people would be swayed into my opinion, so. Because the fact is that the opinion about defending pedophiles is extremely reasonable. And pedophiles so, are going to get their rights extremely soon, so. Can't not going to happen. So, you're saying that I have to have mounds of evidence to provide proof that pedophiles have manipulated children. You I have to, to have mounds of need, proof. You need to identify, like, that children, on just the basis of them being lower, the age of, lower than the age of consent, are cognitively incapable of consenting to sex. Zero so because they're cognitively they're able means that they're able to make that decision. Okay. You're telling me that a seven-year-old has the cognitive ability to sit there and go, yeah, I know what sex is and I want to do that with a fucking adult. No, it's no, always I think the definition of like what I have uh, of, of consent that you have, and I'm sure most people have, is essentially just an understanding of the act and a understanding of the consequences, just manipulation or coercion. And that's the thing. Most cases of sexual acts between children and adults, like those, that happens. So they are able to consent. And that's just a fact. So I it's think not like a fact. most of your, yeah, that mo I think most of your perception of pedophiles is just the people who got arrested. But those are actual rapists and molesters. Those are acts of coercive sexual acts. It's completely different from consensual sexual acts. And the reason why you haven't heard of consensual sexual acts before is because people like you suppress that information. The media, the police, they don't want, they want to continue this oh, narrative I'm that sure there's, bad people. But I'm sure not, there's so. been cases where a child's gone, no, it wasn't abuse. You're basically taking a few case studies and you're taking a not few, few. They're majority here and there, and a majority of kids say that it was abuse. Let me tell you, let's say like, okay, from 4 to 12, it's hard for you to believe. What about 12 and above? These teenagers that maybe you've interacted with many of them on the internet, these, these teenagers, extremely smart, know about politics, like, like, have chances of like manipulating others. Like these, like, for example, there's this case of, um, I, you know, like the game Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, obviously I played good. Yeah, I got Elite Smash for Chrome. Anyways. There's this, there's basically this case where there are two competitors, Ally and uh, Captain Zack. Ally is 26 year old, Captain Zack is um, 15, year, like 17 year old, and essentially they had a, cons they had a relationship. It's not even sexual. They just like kind of like boyfriend. They're like boyfriends, and essentially like Captain Zack eventually had beef with that 26 year old, and he essentially manipulated world into dropping out of um like like basically um doing worse in tournaments therefore delegitimizing the results just because he's mad at that 26 year old for some reason that is a case of manipulation of a child that is below the age of consent happens if they are able to manipulate to that extent they are able to consent to sex and the fact is that if we are in an ideal world where these cases are allowed, these sexual acts are allowed, as they should be, they're already above 13 years old, this wouldn't happen, that, that, that have the chance to manipulate that competitor, so, so what do you think of that? To be honest, I don't know what the fuck Smash Brothers had to do with anything, I, if I'm I being just old. shared with you the story, look, if you, got, if you didn't catch that story, look up the case of Captain Zack and Ally, essentially, this 16 year old manipulated um, this 26 year old to like drop, like, you know, delegitimizing the results of tournaments. So, yeah, it happens. So, I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, if you didn't catch it, and go, oh, yeah, what do you want to talk about? So, I want to, like, we're going in circles because I keep having to repeat myself. Like, 
You say no, that look, if, children okay. can consent, but you give very circumstantial reasons for why. Oh, they're, they're cognitively, they know what sex is cognitively. Physically, they're okay. still not developed, but... And even if we we well, did lower how, the... What does, it, what does it matter when it's not penetrative? It's still like, sexual how, how acts. How are you going to hurt a child by, like, kissing them? You're not going to hurt them they, by doing it, but it's fucking... There is a reason it's illegal. An adult doing that with a child is disturbing to 99% of people. Really? Yeah, you really never met, what, like, what, 15-year-old, 16-year-old people below the age of consent is, like... It's pretty clear they're, like, like... Have, the reason like, why other 16 like 18 20 like the reason never why met any really the reason why other 14 15 year olds can be in relationships is because they're around the same age they have around the same knowledge on sexual they don't know enough to be oh, with an adult wait wait hold on you said oh so you, hold on you said that you'd be fine with like a 14 year old date dating another 14 year old it happens all the time and they're around the same age ah but when you're okay. an adult it's illegal and it's creepy to everybody I don't have to have a case yeah. study for that. This isn't science. Do because otherwise you're just denying the facts. So because I have actual citations which shows that although a power dynamic exists, obviously between a child and an adult, that factor alone does not necessitate that it you know means that it'll be a harmful sexual relationship. You so. have a couple of scientists who think that children can consent. Plenty of researchers that like you know power dynamic between an adult and child, a teacher and a student. Most of the cases are consensual and harmless because God. most pedophiles do not want to harm people. So, actual studies, not just your personal opinion. So, <laughs> there's a reason Actually, we don't have case studies about why pedophilia and why children and adult relationships are harmful is because it's self evident and it happens all the time. You have case studies because it's a very rare event. Case studies where a few times a child consented and that still Not doesn't make it right. I think you're sure that majority consents. Majority. That's just a fact. And yeah, look, self ev say that it's self-evident and it should just be automatically um, decried upon. Like, look, like in the context of when, when of slavery, it's self-evident that blacks are bad people and should be chained in the context before homosexuals got their rights. Yeah, gays are automatically just like defiant and horrible. So base your knowledge on what you consider quote unquote self evident whoops got the outro card it's truth mind. truth is independent of peer pressure and you know your your personal opinion do you ever wonder like, exactly <laughs> do you ever wonder why the appeal the appeal to popularity do you ever wonder why that's in favor of being against pedophilia do you ever wonder i okay yeah. look if someone wonder if why an opinion is if an opinion is popular because, like, because you guys perpetuate this false misrepresentation, like, similar to the context of gays and blacks at the time when most people were discriminating against uh, them for absolutely no good reason. That's another the same problem. thing's happening to pedophiles as well, so. That's another yeah. problem. You, you'd like to compare the... Trying to justify appeal to popularity. I'm sorry, like, could you... Sorry, I interrupted. You want me to do what? Sorry, I interrupted. You can continue. I like how you, you say that pedophiles should be included with the LGBT because... People are against them and because they've been discriminated against. When a gay or lesbian person consenting a sexual relationship with an adult, there's a reason why that's fine. I've already established that they can consent. And look, let's... They can't. You've pedophile. literally just said because they're mentally cognitive that they can. Even though they're not even physically mature enough. They haven't yeah, even gone through puberty in some life. cases. Look... Your audience, like, who would you rather trust? Fucking gaming commentator with, like, no citations at all? Or me, who actually, like, cites? And if you don't or trust the pedophile me, trust who the has researcher. a couple of biased researchers. file that has, like, wealth of citations. And, I'm a like, gaming commentator, so I don't know what I'm talking about. You see, you think I have to have citations yeah, for yeah, shit yeah, that... you don't. <laughs> I don't have to what? have citations for shit that's common sense. You have no evidence for it. So yeah, you're just discriminating against the innocent group of people. Fuck, I'll look it up for you. Hundreds of millions. Yeah, you look it up, and when you I'll do, we can schedule another score. I'm, I'm very certain that you won't be able to find a study that is not biased, though. Okay, what the fuck? You're going to say mine is biased, but yours is not? That That's some bullshit at, right okay, there. I'll, once you show your study, I'll mention exactly to you why the So if my um, fucking biased, study so, about how pedophilia no, no. is harmful and it's... It's literally manipulating children is biased right, to you. 
then so is yours that say that they can consent. It's oh, it's it, automatically yeah, biased, look. like I've been fucking right, saying, because you found a couple but, of researchers. The methodology is what counts in determining whether or not a study is credible or not. Now, most people who wants to discriminate against pedophiles, they cite studies which only interviews who are going for therapy, people who are <sighs> who got raped. So all they analyze is forced sex between a child and an adult. They did not ever analyze consensual sexual acts. And habits. all your studies so analyze those, those... is the cases where a child was willing, but because the child was willing does not mean that it's right. You, if you if you find a study that's completely biased that so, only that only interviews like like people who I got have a question. Raped, yeah, so this is a really good question. Completely biased. Though. So biased if stuff, somebody yeah. goes into a bar and they're chatting up with a girl, and the girl doesn't want anything to do with them, doesn't want to go sleep with them or anything, right? They're both adults. The guy roofies her drink, and then then she's willing, right? Because she doesn't no, know what that, she's doing. No, that isn't, because that, there's an element of manipulation involved. That's a It's almost like going enough. into and the DMs of a child and that saying, is, you know, oh, you're gifted. Different. You're a gifted child, and doing all that weird fucking creepy shit. It's almost like you're trying to lull them into a sense of security and then clear. take advantage of that the fact is most cases between children and adults that does not happen the pedophile makes sure that a child understands what the sexual act is i got my bleach right it, here likes it that's what happens to most pedophiles though and there's research that indicates that so from like write-ups from before you act um researchers like theo sanford fritz bernard more experienced than a you know gaming commentator not not that like gaming con commentary isn't cool and all you know you're, you're you're like you seem like a cool guy but um yeah don't don't, don't get your guy. um don't get what don't get your claims from uh your political claims on such a serious topic from a gaming commentator so okay well don't get them from a pedophile who's gonna look up bias research that takes a look at a couple of cases that kind of go in his favor once you find once you find an unbiased research that like contradicts okay go find me an unbiased one that isn't some scientist who has a hard on for kids when you find me an unbiased researcher that says that children can consent look i literally cited you won't all, they're all, all the biased they're all creepy fucks you like you just can't you're just denying the facts so I, I you're denying you, the I fact that children are manipulated evidence it's and always manipulation I show you evidence, and without even looking at the studies, you immediately claim that it is biased. Without even looking at it. Oh, I've looked at them. Dishonest here. You've looked at them. Yeah. <laughs> no, you have. You, you've actually read the studies. Okay, do you want me to, like, read it back to you in memory? It, so you've taken a look at the studies, and what? What? Why do you... Have you? Sure. Now you uh, Look, if you take a look at... When I'm, you haven't looked at the studies because if you did, you would not. You have seen the anecdote of like the seven-year-old consenting to sexual acts. The seven-year-old, the one yeah. seven-year-old, and it's still fucked well, up that they 20, consented because they were manipulated into thinking anecdote. this is okay. Because a seven-year-old like consents to a sexual act with a fucking creepy adult who manipulated them into thinking that it's all right. Suddenly, I guess. At, yeah. Guess we should lower the age of consent look, then. Bro. You didn't look at my citations at all, and look. We, you can look at it. It's fine. It's fine. You don't, you know, you, you know, just you can take a look at them whenever you want. And if you have any disagreements with them, you can come back to me and we can schedule another talk and it's fine. In fact, like, you know, anybody who wants to like debate me, uh, you can email Kino is here at gmail.com. K I N O I S H E R E at gmail.com. Yeah. I, I'll, um, yeah. Any YouTubers want to do it. So yeah. I am pretty confident. I'm sure she on head would love a go at you. Shoe on head. Oh my God. If I debate her, like, yeah, it'll be a slaughter, so. But yeah, I think she's from wise her, yeah. To no she, I mean, like, she's completely I feel like I've done a shitty story. job at debating you here cuz all I can do is argue common sense. I don't I don't have any fucking case studies about how pedophiles manipulate children. I only have so Lion I'm, Maker I'm, and my personal family members that yeah. have had that happen. That's all I got. I don't have case studies cuz it's common fucking sense. All of it cases of manipulation. Once again, completely misrepresenting the pedophile position. Look, look. Let me let, okay. Yes, yeah, you yourself admit I'm the one with facts. You're the one with, you know, personal opinion, your quote unquote common sense that completely contradicts actual reality. It's almost so. like we have thousands upon thousands of cases of children <sighs> being manipulated by pedophiles, pedophiles being arrested for We're their manipulation. It, you know, that so, never happens apparently, but 
your case studies that, that show a couple happen. of times that a seven-year-old consented because they were ma manipulated. Say that didn't Apparently, happen. that's not look, biased look, at all. Hey, manip manipulation. A minority of cases of like adult adult relationships involves manipulation, rape, and molest. You don't immediately just ban sex entirely just because of those few cases of manipulation and coercion. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Every single case of a child being coerced into sexual acts of any kind with an adult were manipulation because they don't know any better. Find evidence for that and we'll talk. Find evidence that isn't biased for why they can <sighs> consent. When you find a Buddy. case study that can convince me that a four-year-old can consent to sexual <laughs> acts, please let me know. Especially hey, because they don't at, even... At, all they do is pick their boogers and watch Rugrats, like I said. They don't fucking look know Look in my description. Anything. The citations are right there. They don't right know there. what they're sex not, is also, it for. They're actually... Yeah. Case look study, please. The citations are right there. And look, if you if you if you find it a struggle to read, you didn't read it. You, I know you didn't read it. I'm not going it's to. It's like it's like less than ten pages, okay. And if you really like can't take that, just scan through it, and you'll know that you know they have methodologies of like interviewing, like you know participants from all around cities, oh, no. like clubs, who like recollected their sexual experience as a child, and I guess that makes it okay, don't it? Their experience. Of course, of course it does. If an adult recollects the sexual experience as a child, and they say that it's consensual... Little did they know they got fucking coerced into that shit. That's a just com completely a leap of assumption, and that's extremely rude it's a leap and horrible, of isn't it? You see, you're one of those people where somebody says, I consented, I consented to the act, it was completely harmless, nobody victimized It doesn't me. matter that's illegal you, you keep, and that yeah, the guy literally... You keep Talk on pressurizing them, it. saying you were victimized, you were victimized. And even if These he didn't, were... it's still illegal, and the guy going through with it is a piece of it's shit. Like, it's like, is radical feminist level of just, like, idiocy, saying that you're victimized, you're victimized, when you were completely not. So it's just, stop it. This can, the way that you talk to children, saying that they're victim, they were victimized when they weren't. Except for that they a, say that they're victimized. This has a very psychological effect on children. You act like so, children don't come forward themselves in fact a family member that i know has gone through with this uh she didn't come forward because they wouldn't believe that her father was doing anything he wouldn't come forward yeah these cases happen and it's extremely unfortunate that they have to hide and there's not a lot of trust of course but as i said that's a case of manipulation it's completely different from a consensual so sexual act. if there's a case of manipulation that ends up with the child being negatively affected that's obviously like, yeah. bad. But you're saying that the cases where a child is manipulated but they consent, that's fine. The adult's not in the wrong at all for not doing that. Not manipulated. If they consent, the nature of consent involves no manipulation. You're using their ignorance. That's why it's consent. Right, we don't... Excuse me? You're using their ignorance. Using their ignorance. As I said, pedophiles don't want to harm people. They would ensure that the child has enough of an understanding of the act. For that to happen. Isn't now, that course, quite I, the I assumption? Understand that, I understand that the point you're trying to make is that, like, a child has less cognitive ability than an adult. Yeah. The risk of abuse. But as I said, just because they are less cognitively developed does not necessitate that the act would be harmful. Otherwise, what? Would you be fine with increasing the age of consent to 25? No, well, because at around the age 18, of 16, so. between 16 and 18 is when you are fully through puberty and you understand that how is, sex works. And that is just an appeal to popularity, isn't it? Not really. When there's actual evidence which shows that really, like, starting from, like, age 8, most of them would probably be able to consent to sex. Yeah, dude, like, from, from your logic, you'd be fine with increasing the age of consent to 25 or, uh, like, 70. So. No, I think the age of consent should sit where puberty ends and people are old enough to know what sex is. Age 25 is when they uh, develop their brains fully, I reason, so... Oh, I know, you 25, want, is, yeah, yeah, 25 is the age where your brain fully develops. It's not where puberty goes all the way through and that you've had time to know exactly okay, what so you're is. basically just, you're drawing arbitrary lines that completely... Okay, then, why do you draw so. arbitrary, arbitrary lines yourself? I can't even talk, fuck. You've done that yourself I'm multiple not, times. I'm not drawing arbitrary lines. Essentially, they concluded that at the age from 12 and above, are you not most drawing of the cases arbitrary are lines when you literally this say, is because these are not, oh, you know, these are not arbitrary. The lines. kids come out and they, they were pressured by the police. They were pressured by their parents to say it was abuse. Yeah. That's always these are what not happens. arbitrary lines. These are not arbitrary. They're actually backed up by research. So that's the difference. You draw arbitrary lines without any research backing it up. Why do I, I need research to say that, that something's manipulation? 
I don't need research you're, for this. You're making a, you're making a claim that's I want you to look up how many like cases tens... of pedophiles manipulating children there is. There's thousands you of want, them. I gave you, you one with Lion Maker because it's an infamous one. You... Excuse me? Children are very naive. They are easy to... You can mold the way they think. If a person, a pedophile, is grooming them in DMs saying, Oh, you know, you're... What was it you said? You said they're gifted? It's a gifted child. More cognitively developed at four to seven, if let's say they consent. I need to make it very clear. From four to seven, I think most children aren't able to consent. It's just a minority of cases that are quote unquote gifted. So. It doesn't make any sense. When are they gifted? I mean, it doesn't make sense. When are like, they gifted? Dude, have you been listening? Have you been listening to me? I've explained it extremely as clearly as I can. In so my if case, they so. if they do, <laughs> you say that they're gifted <laughs> and they can consent. Oh, Which I told ones you. are gifted? The four to seven year olds who look like they're able to consent. Let me make it clear. Look I like. think only at around age, uh, age eight, are they able to consent? So as I said, if you're a four to seven year old and you are seen to be able to consent to sexual acts, you most likely have I'm the sorry. cognitive ability of an eight year old so as opposed to a four to seven year old. You so, can tell when a seven year old is yeah. gifted by looking at them. Is that what you said? You have to look at the case itself, dude. You can't just you can't just say, oh, just because he's a seven year old, the sexual act is manipulative. You have to actually look. Oh, okay. Was he coerced? Was the adult loving? Did the adult do anything manipulative? Many factors to dictate whether an act was manipulative. The or act not. of going you're after just, a you're child. Just looking, you're just looking at age, which is just that's the thing. That doesn't necessitate it being harmful. And it's what almost like age is important. Because at younger ages, they do not understand this shit. And what do you, I want you to explain, how do you know when a child is gifted, as you said, at seven? You said by uh, looking, looking, if they look looking, like they're gifted. Looking, looking at the anecdotal case itself, most of them are reflections from like, like 30, 40 year old adults reflecting on their sexual act they had when they were like six to seven years old. They say it's consensual, obviously you should believe them, they're, they're adults, they understand sex fully. Okay, they're so probably older than you, so what you're saying? You're immediately saying that they're victimized without even know without even talking to these people. You immediately claim that they're victimized. That's just that's rude. That's horrible. And look, your view is essentially discriminating against tens, perhaps hundreds of millions of innocent people around the world. People who engage in a completely innocent sexual act. You know, 15, with a child, 30 years of prison. So someone who doesn't you're harming both. You're harming both the adult and the child. Oh, believe me, the kid's fine. Kids, okay. They're better off without them around. Believe me. It's fine about making the child feel absolutely guilty that you took away that child's adult lover. He will face negative psychological consequences for, like, decades. And these cases happen. Imagine if, let's say, okay, you have a girlfriend, and she's completely innocent, and I place her into 10, 15 years of prison. You'd be devastated. Yeah. And you're an adult. Imagine if it's on a child. That that is actual abuse, not the kind of not the thing that you're. Are you saying children can't handle about, stuff so. better than adults? Awkward silence. No, what? No, I didn't hear you. What do you say? I said, are you saying that children are unable to handle things as well as an adult is able to? I am. Okay, and I know what you're trying to say. You're trying I to say am that. trying to say that. Okay, the, the different, that difference, I obviously acknowledge that, child, that a child is cognitively less developed than an adult. They undeveloped to be able to consent to sex, and plenty of evidence indicates that they're cognitively developed enough for that. Yeah. Of course, let's put the age of consent to 25 or 48, so. No, that doesn't make sense. Just because the you, you seem to go under the logic that you have to go all off of mental cognitive ability. So we have to put the age of consent at 25 if you don't want people to kittle, to diddle kids. Kittle dids. Yeah, good. Anyway. No. No, no, no. Just because I, they, I put... they're, they're fully mature at 25. No, they have hit puberty between the ages of 10 to 14 or 12 to 16. 16 yeah, is the putting, age of yeah, consent. No, no. You're because... putting the line... I, you're putting the line at puberty... I'm putting the line at like re people who research consensual sexual acts and the cognitive development of a child. And I think essentially there's indication that eight year olds and above are able to consent. 12 year olds, it's so definitive. I don't even, why would you even try to 
argue against 13 year olds able to consent to sex they're both able to understand it and physically they're probably able to deal with it because they're still they're, going they through penetrated. puberty and it's illegal yeah the appeal to legality again dude i already dude wait there's a yeah. reason it's fucking how, illegal how do you define truth there's there's a there's a reason that uh that beheading people who speak up against muslims in saudi arabia is um illegal too so doesn't make it right so stop appealing to that elementary logical fallacy okay like, you're smarter than that. I know you are. Are you? Are you? I you're not appealing to any logical fallacies when you... F- at all, so. When you give a I, fucking case study from somebody who's biased and then tell me my studies are going to be biased if I find not, them. They're not. I already explained to you clearly why any any studies which contradicts mine are biased. Because, essentially, you're taking an extremely biased sample size of people who got raped. And you're not taking extremely ever, biased sample sizes of random children who consented and didn't feel like they were abused or manipulated, even though they were. Random children. They didn't the feel like that, they were. It was consensual to them. Therefore, your studies are valid. It doesn't make any fucking that, sense. The studies that I cite were, like, random people from, like, clubs or college students... Yeah, and a lot of random children are manipulated and, by pedophiles. Yeah, but look, in a study, you want to take a credible sample size. And most, if you want it to be credible, you don't just take it from therapy clinics where all the people who are interviewed are raped. You take it from a random source. Okay. And obviously, the people who analyze these random sample sizes, they acknowledge that some cases of sexual abuse happens. It's just that it's a very small minority. They acknowledge sexual abuse and consensual sexual acts happen because that's just a fact. You so don't do we agree? To... Do we agree that every study other than yours are biased? Every study other than mine, any study which says that all sexual relationships between a child and an adult is harmful is definitively biased. And if you can find one that is unbiased and true, call me. Okay, so you're telling me the studies that say that because these people had what they describe as non-abusive, consensual relationships with an adult when they were a child, that just means because they had those experiences that it's all A-OK a- for adults to go diddle no. kids. Was that all relationships That's not between biased. children... The studies which shows that all relationships between adults and children are harmful are only taken from therapy clinics. They only analyze people who engage in forced sex. That is, that, that is essentially... Like trying to prove that marijuana is bad by just researching people in a drug rehabilitation center. Truly dishonest. Do you understand that? Do you understand how that's? Uh, it's dishonest, dishonest to ignore all the people that have been hurt by pedophiles. <sighs> Did you just listen to what I said? I just explained to you why. Why your explanation was dog shit. Is biased. You just want to deny the facts, so. You're denying the fact I, I, that people are manipulated by pedophiles all the time understand that like you just don't want to acknowledge the facts and even if people present facts to you you won't want to admit it because obviously you want most you know to just hold under your preconception just for safety but truth is independent of safety or peer pressure or anything so and the truth is that pedophiles are mostly innocent and they're going to get their rights so i predict probably 15 to 20 years so get psyched i don't think that's going to happen pal but I'll see you in the battlefield. And yeah, anyone wants to debate me or whatever, Kino is here at gmail.com. Um, it's yeah. hard to debate you because you just bring up That's random hard. bullshit Dude, that has nothing to do with anything. It's hard, it's hard to debate me. It's hard to debate you, you because win. you say that every other study is biased and yours isn't, even though it totally fucking <sighs> is. It is very just, biased. And I don't have to read it to find out because I if you're going to call mine biased, I can call yours biased. It's a bunch of creepy scientists that are trying to make up why you can diddle kids because there's been some cases where they said it's not abuse it was consensual 40 years later how you distinct whether something is biased or not is from the methodology that's why you can have plenty of studies which shows that the earth is flat but all of them are wrong so look at the methodology of your study and i already already explained it very clearly it only analyzes for sex not consensual sex like You know, it's just intellectually dishonest. If you take a look at consensual sexual acts who were raped, then you would acknowledge that majority of cases are consensual. Actual evidence, actual unbiased methodology. So, 
you, you, you're, are, are you catching up? Do, are, I feel like it's all go, going over your head because you, you know, you know what's what? been going over <laughs> your head, and I've had to repeat myself multiple times. I, I, I know, I know what your point, dude. Okay. So look, yeah, okay, dickhead. You... I'm gonna repeat myself again because you've missed the point entirely over and over again. Children cannot oh, consent yeah. because they are always manipulated because they do not understand how sex works. They are not sexually mature and they are not cognitively mature enough to understand any of it. But just because I think I've liked... you have a couple of studies from a couple of creepy old dudes who say, "Yeah, uh, d these people said that you know they diddled an adult when they were a kid and they didn't mind." Right, dude. That's fucking. Okay. That is extremely biased. It's a few people who have their own experiences about it, and it's still fucking illegal. Okay, I'll let you have the final word. We've gone through an hour. I think if we continue, we'll just go in circles. Yes, So, we yeah. Yeah, so I think that we're good. Uh, I think you had a friend who was enthusiastic in debating me, but, like, I stopped it because, like, 2v1 is a bit unfair, so... Perhaps you might plan that, or whenever you have actual sources to back up your claims, you And maybe if it. you wouldn't have so, talked over me half this fucking stream, I would have been able to make my points more articulate. But, you know. Uh, I'm really sorry if I, if I interrupted. If you I, did it a lot. If you felt that I interrupted you too much. I'm, I'm really sorry if I did, so. Oh, I'm really sorry. I didn't, I didn't notice, so. Yeah, if you... I'll, I'll hope that um, next time, if we ever have another discussion, I'll try to interrupt less, so. I don't think I did, but, you know. You did. <sighs> Anyways, I can't I wait for you to get. I can't wait for that case study that shows how kids at the age of four are able to consent. But uh, thank you so put, much put, for coming. Put my out. links in the description. Like, if you don't, if you don't want to admit the facts, your audience can just look at the description of all my pro pedo videos. There's the classic shoe on head is too mean to pedophiles. Now there's shoe on head is too rude to pedophiles. All of the description of those yeah. videos have plenty of citations. So take a look at it, and uh, hopefully. You know, some some people will change their mind. So yeah, so yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, yeah uh, I think I feel like I let everybody down here. I should have been more roasty, and I should have uh, been able to make my points in less repeating myself. <laughs> thing, the thing about like anti pedophiles is that their point is inherently just completely illogical. So I know that right. you, you seem like artic you seem you seem like articulate and like able to hold. Yeah, I was being stand, an but, yeah, it. It's just it's really hard to defend your position because it's just it's not. massively wrong. And, and so is your, clear, yours is the one that is extremely point. wrong, buddy. I will just I will just stop making counterpoint. Otherwise, you know, we'll just continue this back and forth. So I think we're good. Um, we've uh, covered most of it. So yeah, I yeah. think um, yeah. So My examples of care. people being affected by pedophiles in negative ways way outshines your case studies, buddy. <sighs> but anyway, thank you so much to everybody that stopped by the stream. I thank you. apologize that this was a clusterfuck. And that it kind of went in circles. We kind of all knew that it would. I appreciate your time, Kino. Uh, and you guys all have a good one. Really enjoyed the opportunity. Thanks a lot. And, like, look, even though we have any disagreements, I think you're, like, I think generally a cool guy. And, uh, yeah. So, peace to you. Peace to the audience. Take care, dude. Appreciate it. Have a good one.